Hi, John here. Today is Monday, the 22nd of August 2016. What a day we had today in court, Auckland District Court. I've just got back, arrived home after going to court this morning. I put a video on YouTube and then straight on to Facebook. It is now 1.21 p.m. and I did that around about 8.30, quarter to nine. In that, I made statements of about no evidence. The court should be dismissed for no evidence. I listed, you can see it, I listed why. But there was no case to answer because if Natalie Flower Do Brown, Detective CIB, did not turn up in court today with the four accomplices she had called John Wanoa in capitals, Wanoa in capitals, Hawani John Wanoa in all capitals, and Mr. Wanoa in capitals. If those four John Wanoas didn't turn up today in court and with their birth certificates and with Natalie Flower Dew Brown and her documents, then wipe the case because there's no such thing. It's made up. It's been fabricated. It's been tampered with. It's been everything but the law. This is the fashion of police making their own laws up against the Bar Association's laws of my barrister. I told them exactly what to say. In fact, I didn't even go in court, like I said before I went. I was going to sit outside and sing a song. That's what I did. And when I got there, the other marshals were there. They're the ones on Cook Street. I'm talking about the raid on Cook Street. It's been thrown out, people. It's been thrown out because it was made up. It was fraudulent right through. With those people in the land block, you're liable now, after this, today, I told you, you're going to get liable into court now. A whole lot of you, 43 of you. I know which ones. After the, today's ruling, there's no evidence because it's been fabricated. The whole statements and all, what I wrote online. My court is online as my, my trial by media worldwide. There's a big audience watching and you're watching me conduct a hearing inside the Waitangi Marae King's Bench Court with Kingi Dodua Chief on a native court, the only one in the world with a flag on it and the authority of native hapu chiefs in the world with a king of Britain flag as proof who we are. Okay, so I've gone inside that court today as a King's Bench Court judge and sheriff. Sheriff with a badge on my hat. I had my hat in my pocket and I didn't have to show it when I went past the security when I got swiped through because it's only it's not a metal object, it's just a badge. So I had it there as my authority to pull it out if I had to go in court. If they call me in into the stand, I would pull it out as the King's Bench Court judge and clear the whole lot out. That's what I was about to do, people. I was about to exercise my authority of jurisdiction inside that court on my land. I haven't finished with you, Natalie Flower Dew Brown. You're not going to get away with it. You're not going to get away with it. None of you police are going to get away with it because you're clearly suspect since the judge ruled it out. That's what I did. I did this, wrote this thing last minute before I went into court after being arrested in prison on the 3rd of October. On the 5th of October, I scribbled just what I did again and gave it to the judge. I told my barrister, take this in the court, you don't need anything else. 
and the marshals had their own methods of doing their court hearings. <clears throat> they got off too. But why is it that I wasn't called in? Why is it that they were called into the stand and not me? You see? That's what I'm saying. I'm telling you what I can do as an authority from the Marae up in Waitangi, Kingi Tauros Marae. He doesn't know it, it's got a lot of power. It's got more power than John Key or all these judges. So that's what happened today, people. I want to tell you the text that I got from my barrister. This, this is right till the last minute. I never got anything right until the last minute. And I wasn't very happy with what he said when he came out of the court. I only heard it from the boys when they walked out that they said to me, it's all over. First of all, they said, oh, your name, I think, got called out while it's on the board. I said, so, that's all right. I, I don't need to go in. I I'm going to stay out here. I don't need to go in there. If they call my name out, I'm not in there. I'm out here. You see? That's, that's the way I do it. I told my barrister what to do from outside the court. So I don't think they want to let me in there as a King's Bench Court judge. Because it'll be hell to play if I got in there with everything I was about to say, straight off the cuff. Okay, so I want to tell you this uh, text that I got from him um, this morning at 9.11. This is 9.21 a.m. Good morning, John. We are due in court next Monday, not today. See, not today. This, the boys were there today, and I was told my court hearing was today. I prepared for it. I made these videos for it so that I would appear. Why is it all of a sudden, he's just telling me, you don't appear in court today, it's next week. So, from here, when, I, when he came out of the court, he said to me, John, it's all over. The cases are dismissed, and yours too. And I said, what, do you mean that's the end of me and you? And he says, yes. I said, no, I haven't finished with you. You're getting paid to do the job for me to bring that woman into this court. Natalie Flower Dew Brown has got a subpoena on her to bring her into court. I haven't finished with her because she injured me, not those boys. She injured me. And I've got a case against her in this court for her documents. It's her documents and her I want in this court with those four John Wanos. I want them in here because I signed the trustee beneficiary signature to what I, I say belongs to me that fortune of money in there, that big pile of money that's in there, everybody's helping themselves to it. I want a full audit on it. And I want to see who countersigned my signature to get that money. Because I signed to get that money. And it's got my natural name on it. And she's arrested me, the natural man, and put my name in lowercase at the last minute when the cash was going to come out. Not before. She put it in capitals and arrested me. You see, I want her in the court because of what I'm saying to you in instructions, what to do. And I believe my instructions today got the case removed and everybody else that wasn't there. They might think it, it was their documents that did it, but I don't think they could talk in this sort of language I'm doing online as being trialed by media. Okay, it's just too much evidence here online than what's there in front of a judge on bits of paper. The video is more going for it than all those bits of paper that those other fellows have gone on there with. It might be okay for authority for the Maori part, but that's all right. I'm not doing They're doing it that way. They're doing it for themselves, which is fine. And I'm doing it for myself in this way because I'm in the real estate field and the mortgage and the bank and the fraud part of that, not how they're doing things, okay? So I've got the titles. I have got the titles to the land. They haven't got the titles. I've got it for these lands, the Manukau titles, that these people are on that land. I'm dealing with the land itself. <clears throat> so that's what he said. Good morning, John. We are due in court next Monday, not today. So I've got to prepare for Monday next week now, after he said to me, the court's dismissed, you've got no charges, now it's gone. I haven't finished, because I've got a case with her to finish off from that Cook Street. 
and I want those landowners locked up. I want the whole lot of them locked up. I won't stop till they're locked up and I get the land back. That's what I said to them. That's my land. <coughs> um, good morning, John. We are due in court next Monday, not today. I will call you later today. I am not able to talk at the moment. Okay, thanks. You see? There, I just want to show you. There's, there's the text there. Okay? Just to let you know the text came through. You can see the time in the morning. I just, uh, and I've said, oh, okay, thanks. And then he says, I'm in, I'm at the court. So now, no court today. Any reason is it Natalie didn't turn up. I am at court and take a hike to my car. My car at Helipad Tamaki Drive. Okay, where are you? See, so that's what I said to him. And then he followed by saying, where are you? That's my, that's my uh, text. This is my conversation this morning. The text was at 9, 9.39 or something, 9.56. His, my text to him was 9.56. And then his text came back from that. is him saying, where are you? Yeah. That's what he said. Yeah. So, and then, oh, shush, it keeps on going away. He says, where are you? We are in court three. Court. It's okay, I need exercise. I'm here, but wait for next week if you like. There, so that's his reply, talking to me on the text, right there. Okay, I'm just rolling it down from our conversations at the court. So he's, he said, we're in court three, that was at 9.59. Uh, see and it says court it's okay i need the exercise i'm saying to him i need the exercise i'll walk back to the car right up along T tamaki drive around waterfront around uh, down down where the helipad is i oh shucks i am here but wait for next week if you like i waited below so leave next week and then he says charges against you dismissed look people can you see charges against you dismissed right I'm just saying the court has dismissed the charges at 19 minutes past 10 19 minutes past 10 19 minutes past 10 the court dismissed the charges Okay, so, yeah, it's going away. Now just one more time. Right, you can see it there. I'll just put it, move it up a bit. So you can see the clock time. Yeah, 19.10. 10, 19 minutes past 10. Okay, so that just shows you. And then he says, I will phone you a bit later on to discuss. Then huh? he says, I will phone you later on to discuss. That's after he said it's dismissed. Right? I'm just showing you what happened. Okay, like I said to you, I want you to finish my case off as I was granted a subpoena by Judge Collins that order and a full disclosure of her and I want her in court next week in front of me, her accuser. Liable her for breaking the law, made to pay. It's not going away that easy. And I'm indirectly paying you 
from my inheritance money. She or me, uh, she or Mr. Wanoa in capitals, John Wanoa in capitals, trustee, I want the court to subpoena into this court next week to own up to stealing money from my, from forging my name, Shannon. I was granted that order and I want my money back. All of it. She injured my business and me personally, and she and the police are liable in this court. You got paid from my birth certificate legal instrument. I signed, and someone else signed. I accused her because she hand wrote the name on a document she signed as John Wanoa. She did that in handwriting. Her handwriting, it's my evidence I go to court with that we are all cleared of charges today and I didn't have to go in court. Why? The other said my na name was called out, but you text me and said my court hearing in here in next week in a text to me to mean at the last minute I was outside away from the other defendants not to associate with them only to be told by them it's all over. I said that's their case, not mine. Then you told me it's all over, but I have my day in court with Natalie Flowdrew Brown not getting away with this. What she did to me, she is a criminal case on, on, or something. I wanted you time in the police complaints authority. They still walk around free. Four men and her on trial with you for defrauding, with you for defrauding me of my birth certificate money, Shannon. So there's a long text. I text back to him for next week. He's going to ring me up. So this is this is my text. I won't bother showing you every bit of it, but I'm just showing you the text that followed. To my barrister. I feel I've been shortchanged from what he's been paid. I want a full account of, of what he's been paid. I'll go right down to the wire of the law. I'll just say this last one. Charges against you dismissed. I will phone you a bit later on to discuss. Oh, like I said to you, I want you to finish my case off. There. That's, that's from the last bit of text he put. And for me, my response to what he just said to me is I will phone you a little later on. And so I'll see whether he does. So one more time, people. Charges against you dismissed. All right? That's my evidence to you on, on this video from what efforts I have done to have trial by media. That means all my evidence is online. There's too much of it. That's why they're backed out and can't can't stack anything up against what I've put there, against any of them. I'm hooking them all in from the result of being free today. That means she came in here without authority. All those 12 police that came here to arrest me waste the taxpayers' money. And how much all that came out of my birth certificate to pay them all. That's what I want back. I want all that money back. And they're not going to get away with screwing money out of me. With me signing a bail bond for something that was fraudulent in the first place. Shannon, I'm saying to you, I have been injured personally by that woman. Detective. CIB, Criminal Investigation Bureau, I'm, I'm saying she's a criminal, to come in here, arrest me, and the judge throw it out. For all what she did to me, and including trespassing me and everything on her documents. She's put a trespass order on me, and I want to find who is trespassing. It'll be the police names trespassing, not the owners. I want the landowners to say they put the names on the trespass, because those other men have got trespass notice on them. I want to find who is the one trespassing. You're, you're, you're insulting me by saying the trespass notices of everyone still applied. 
I want that person in the court channel next week to see who it is. You'll find it's a policeman and one of these bogey people that she's dreamed up. It's all fraud, faked. Faked documents that I'm challenging the documents and what they've done is thrown them in the bin and say nothing was there. Nothing, nothing we work our hands clear. I was standing outside there, Shannon. I was standing outside waiting to see what was going to happen inside the court. I expected the, the case to be thrown out. That's what I predicted before the judge even opened his mouth today, that he will have nothing if I walked in there to say to me. You see? So you've done a nice, tidy job to clean everybody's case and mine up when I haven't finished yet. I want my day in court. I want my day in court with all my accused people right in front of me, their accuser, to see who they are. I want them exposed of fraud and corruption inside the police. I'm not going to the complaints authority of the police because it's a waste of time. I've been there already and got nothing. I went to the serious ward office and got nothing with these complaints of that land. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. It's going to go in the High Court in London and you're going to get stung. The whole lot of you. The whole lot of you. 13,000 to 15,000 police. The whole lot of you and the government. You're all going to get stung for doing this to me and trying to cover it up. You see? I'm not angry. I'm just saying. One law for police and another for the Bar Association barristers in your little clubhouse. You've got your own little clubhouse. When it doesn't work out and the odds are stacked against you, you go and throw it in the bin and say, all over. Forget it. You see, none of you had any substantial evidence to back up against this, what I've got online in this video. None of you have got titles to the land. You're going to get booted off. I can tell you now, you're going to get booted off. That's what Kingy says. What Kingy says goes. You're going to get booted off with Moai Powerhouse Group Limited Limited Company registered in the UK jurisdiction. That's my partner over there. The British are here. I'll give them the bill to sort you out. You couldn't do it in the court today. I'll get a higher court of high authority through the Waitangi Marae, that's me inside there with Kingy, then take it into the High Court of London and then pull you in one by one. You're all liable, one by one, including the judge. Including the judge. Because he tampered with that information as well. He got paid too. You all got paid from a fraudulent document. I want that document in court to challenge jurisdiction of that document. Shannon, I want to, to challenge this jurisdiction of this flag and my authority as the eight-point star, New World Order, against your law with those documents that woman had. And you people, I was going to say something else, but you people have helped yourselves to a lot of money that's come out of my name. I want that money back, Shannon. I'm telling people, you're being screwed the same way as I've been screwed. I want that into court next week, Monday. So that's really it, people, today. I just made this video just to let you know that um, I'll read this one out to you. I think I have. I'll, I'll read it again online. I'm just going to read this so that it's on this video. I'm just going to post this video on to Facebook, just the back and be beside the one that I made this morning to wrap this case up. I haven't finished yet because I said to him, it's going to carry on. He's going to ring me this afternoon. See, he's got to go and consult somebody else. He hasn't done me much for what he's been getting paid out of that pot of, pot of money. If they're being pay paid, I want a full account of how much each of them got paid and whose money it is. Right? I signed it. And the other trustee, John 1R, I want him to look like me. He, he's, there's four of them. And there's four John one R's here in natural. Hawani, Kaki, one in lowercase, that's a natural person like me. And John one O in lowercase. 
So they made these names up. They made these names up. These white Pakeha, they come on their land and, and offended me and my chiefs, made these fictitious names up, and they've got to bring those names of those and those people with them into court. That's what I'm ordering. I'm ordering as the King's Bench Court judge in on my land, otherwise get off my land. That's what I'm saying. You're going to get booted because you're violating the British laws, which is our law, 1830, 1837, laws. You haven't got nothing to stand on with your laws here. Your laws are subservient to these laws. You have got no basis, no sovereignty, no jurisdiction, no seals, no nothing from Britain. Just a whim to go on. I'll just read this out again. I just got back from my court case in Auckland. I'm just writing this now on Facebook. Posting. I just got back from my court case in Auckland District Court. It's now 1.46 p.m. on Monday, the 22nd of August 2016. I just got back from my court case in Auckland District Court where I just stood outside singing like I said I would because the case, as far as I was concerned, was won on no evidence in big, bold capitals. Nothing less, nothing else, what I wrote for my barrister today would have contributed to the judge making his ruling simply because it now proves that Natalie Flower Do Brown failed to turn up in court today to my hearing and I told Sharon, Shannon Withers, this is Sharon, Shannon, not Sharon, Shannon Withers to strike out the hearing so the judge did it for all the men who went onto Cook Street, though the judge gave them no explanation of dismissing their cases, left them somewhat bewildered. The judge settled their case but left mine out. My barrister said my case is for next week on the text I just showed you. And he texts me here is the text and I told the duty lady at the court to go into the court and tell Shannon I leave my court case for next week. Because, see, I appeared today. I was there in person. Not today, like he said, because I want CIB Detective Natalie Flowerdew Brown and her four accomplices, one, John Wanoa, two, Mr. Wanoa, that's the second person, three, Wanoa, and four, Hawani John Wanoa, in capitals, all capitals, Sabina, into the court, district court, to face me, who signed the bail bond that I signed to steal money from my inheritance account. I am the beneficiary of that account. I want a full audit of where did that bond money I signed went to from her fraud documents she used to arrest me with and injure me and my business, Shannon. My barrister came out of court, then said it's all over. That's when I heard it from him, and in the text. That's that's how he's said it's all over. Just a whim like that. It's it's all over, John. No more. Or go home. Finish. No, I haven't finished, Shannon. I have not finished this case because mine is not those boys, those marshals. My case is not the marshals' case. My case goes further than their case. That's why I'm surprised that they've got off from some technical term and they've got documents too. Whether they got off on their documents is another matter because their documents are genuine as well. They're authentic as well as mine. But I, I only can tell that the evidence that are provided is somewhat what the judge made a ruling on, the evidence. Whereas those other marshals and their um, other people helping their case would have had native jurisdiction, which is right. They would have the right jurisdictions of title over the land and their hapu. You see, that's law too. What I was doing was the legal law. They don't use legal law in their, they have a right to use native law. I'm using legal law of trust and corporations. 
Uh, I'll finish this off. Um, <clears throat> I am not finished with her yet. I want her in court for injuring me and those arrest documents and forging my name is criminal, as well as covering up the fraud land titles with those landowners conspired to defraud me, the public of New Zealand and my chiefs. I told him in a text response my instructions text response, my instructions, while he is being paid from my bond money. I want a full account of, because it has my name on it, and this other trustee to that pile of money I want back now. Someone signed to get that money. That's that's the criminal offence that the judge wiped out those documents and lack of evidence in it. And it's got all these other criminal elements in it, and this is one of them. Jenna, this is one of those elements inside that case. I want it extended to bring that woman into the court like the judge said. I'm sticking to what he gave me, a subpoena to subpoena her into the court to tell me, the injured person, who is this other person that's imitating me and stealing the trust money, my inheritance money, that you've been paying yourselves with. Okay? I want it in the court, Shannon. It's not going to go away. I'm not going to any other barrister because you've, you've been given the job for me by the court and I want my money's worth. You've got more money out of it than me and the judge and the policeman and everybody else has got more money out of their account than me the one that's suffering here. Okay? I'm the one that's being punished here by your system of laws inside the police to damage my reputation and my business. That means I go with my business in Britain that's corporate too. I'm doing corporate the same as you're doing corporate, only on the king's side and you're on the queen's side. She's gone, Shannon. She is corrupted. Fraud criminal and a murderer. That's all I can say about Queen Elizabeth and that side. Okay? I'm being strong about that point of you're using all of that on this land. All these laws here are being demolished by Pope Francis and it's being used in that court today. That was another offence that's offended me of my intellect and my chief's intellect over these lands. Okay? I'm talking from a corporate king's point of view on my documents and videos and these postings on Facebook admissible in the High Court of Admiralty in London. That's going against you. This ruling will be a complaint into the High Court of Admiralty in London for that Cook Street. You're all going to go in prison, the whole lot of you, everyone, from today because you did that to us and it's being found that you had no authority in that office to do that to me. You people in that Cook Street office, you had no authority on that land to do that to me. You're going to pay, all of you. You're going to pay. Don't run because I know where to find you. I know where to find you. So basically that's been my day. I have a lot of work to do with the finance and the um, investors of my powerhouse group, Limited, Limited, to set that up on the East Coast, a meeting next week for those people. Uh, it's in the Gisborne Herald tomorrow. I've got to get in touch with them shortly and put this video on and we'll um, catch you later. Have a nice day, and to my staff and people that have been supporting me, thank you very much. We have results today that proves, beyond a doubt, that our documents are pretty cool. They are telling the truth and has substance in it. Now, I'm after that land block. 77 Cook Street, you're going into court. All of you. You're going into court, like the Pope said, strip all of you 
one at a time. Okay? Just a little warning to you. I've given you enough warnings of my intentions to seize that block of land. My chief says so too. Ngāpui says so too. Alright? I've had enough of your people fraud, wheeling and dealing on our lands. No more. No more. That's the end of it. Okay? And those boys today, congratulate yourselves. Give yourselves a pat on the back for attempting to do a job that's quite impossible. I gave you that job, contract, to seize that land. You didn't get it back, but you had a go at it. I'm going to get it back. I'll show you how. Okay? I'll show you how using corporate law and trusts in the King's Bench Court. Okay? That's how you do it. You have to have that in order to match the beast. You want to match the beast? You got to play the beast game of queens and queens. Okay? Thank you very much. We'll catch you later. Bye.